Hello, I'm Sheila with The Grateful Goddess, and with me today is Patricia Kirkman, an amazing numerologist and very dear friend, and we're at her cozy home in Tucson on a cold, un unusually Usually, cold, cold day today. So welcome, and thank, thank you, you for joining us. March is a big month for um, new beginnings and saying goodbye to old. I wanted Patricia to share with us some of the things to look for. Oh. Well, with March, actually, it's wrapping up of what's been going on already through the year. It becomes a nine universal month, which for everyone is completions. In, but it is also about uh, what we do for others. Nine is the universal number for mm. caring, sharing. It's the humanitarian. But it's also the actor or actress. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Anything okay. to do with nine has to do with the theater as well. Okay, so is it all month long that we are going through these wrapping up the old, beginning something new? Definitely. And then, and then, so does even people who are not in theater, it's our acting sort of um, shines up a little bit? It does. <laughs> it, the one thing that makes it quite nice is the nine universal year, regardless of what our personal stuff is, okay. the nine takes precedent oh. for everyone. So we're all going to be looking at things a little differently you'll see that people may have a tendency for a bit of accident proneness because they'll try to push in too many things and that's where the drama comes in. How do you navigate through the month? I think considering that we will be finishing up a retrograde that will start mm -hmm. the latter part of February, that paying attention to details of things is extremely important. The uh, Anything to do with communications and or signing of papers, etc will be very much on everybody's list. So don't be surprised if in March you're not redoing what you thought you'd complete at the end of February or the first part of March. But also being big in terms of communication, are there tips of what we should be doing in that regard? During the retrograde period, everything need be face-to-face. -face. Okay. Uh, don't take chances. I would sign no important papers during that period of time because the odds of them uh, having mistakes in them or having some problems that will show up later are quite possible. When we go into the retrograde, we have a shadow period which lasts for about a week or two prior. Then we have the actual retrograde and then we have the shadow period when it, com when it completes. Mm -hmm. And face to face is the best we can do. Anything by phone, you'll find that anything to do with electronics and or communication will act out, will be rather dicey. But it's what we see and how we feel things are. Okay. And there's a tendency, like I said, anything to do with electronics. If something breaks down mm -hmm. during the retrograde, mm -hmm. let it alone. Odds are, at the end of the retrograde, it may work. Mm -hmm. Even telephone messages are going to get lost. Uh, numbers will be transposed. Mm -hmm. We're positive we've got it right. We'll look at it. Oh, yeah, it looks perfect. And then we'll find out afterwards, no, it didn't. Yes. It's got problems. Well, you've been doing this for a long time. How did you come into this line of work? Uh, 38 years ago, I was looking for answers, and I couldn't get it from people. So I picked up books, and I started learning from someone that was a very good mentor to me. Mm -hmm. And I found out that, by gosh, there are answers out there. Anything to do with a person's personal if issues, if they are interested in finding out what their personal year is, mm -hmm. Always take the calendar year mm -hmm. and add it to a single number. So in 2013, it reduces to a six. Mm -hmm. So the universal year for 2013 is six. And to find out what your personal year is in 2013, add your month and day of birth, mm -hmm. reduce it to a single digit, and add it to the six. Okay. So very simple. And then you'll know exactly where you stand and with what's going on. The neat thing about the numbers is everything progresses one through nine. Mm-hmm. You can go the long route and do all the numbers, which I do many times. But for simplicity, one through nine covers it all. Right. You get your answers. Numerology has to do with value of letters, value of numbers, and how they work together or when they're not involved in a specific person's chart where it creates some problems or some issues. But numerology goes back to Pythagoras. And it's actually older than astrology. Ooh. And so we always find, there's always some little tidbit that we start the day we're born working on what we're missing or mm -hmm. our karmic lessons, if you will. 
And so when someone says, oh, I've got that all my life. No, you don't. You start working on it right from the get-go. The point is sometimes we learn the lessons right away. Sometimes we have other things blocking our way so that they don't become exactly what we want. But as time progresses, we learn how to work with it or handle it better or make major strides forward because other things come to us. Right. So it's a combination. If, and when we're looking at numbers, it's very simple because we're only using nine numbers, to be honest. Mm -hmm. I use all numbers, but for someone looking at how to do it better, mm -hmm. one through nine. We'd reduce everything to a single number, and it's very simplistic. One deals with self, it's masculine. It deals with ego, self-esteem, and going forward. Mm -hmm. Two is feminine, deals with partnerships and relationships and sensitivity. Three is about creativity, communications of all forms, and scattered energies because the three wants to have a good time. <laughs> Four is the worker, and, and they're really very detail-oriented. Actually, sometimes a little on the anal side. They want everything so precise. But they're the hard workers, and they're the builders. They build a strong foundation. The five is about major changes and personal freedom. Mm. If there's a luck factor that goes with both the three and the five. So the personal freedom that we get when we're in a five is, I want to party, I want to have a good time, because I know what's coming the next couple of years is going to wear me out. <laughs> so then the six is about family, family-type relationships, about perfection. It's about being in charge, working with the neighborhood, working with our, our family in all aspects of things, whether it's our work family or our personal family or our family of friends. And seven is our teaching part. It's the uh, student, the teacher deals with legal issues as well. And uh, our spiritual side is very strong when the seven is around. Eight is about being in charge, being in control, chairman of the board, president, if you will, mm -hmm. and running the show, and that's kind of show me the money. Mm -hmm. The nine says you've done it for eight years now. Let's get this all wrapped up and get rid of what you don't need anymore. Let's get this basket emptied. So when you go back to your one, you'll be ready to start fresh again. <laughs> Numerology covers so many different facets. In fact, the article I just finished. When we're born, the first moment of our life, we are a number. The day we're born, the month we're born, the year we're born. Mm -hmm. That's our number. We're then given a name, and every letter in our name revolves around a number. Then we get a social security card. Then we get an address that we live in. Everything that we do has numbers. If you buy a TV, it's got a serial number. If you go to your refrigerator and open up, there's a serial number there. Mm -hmm. So if you look at all the different numbers, they all represent something. And in fact, I was at a gathering one time and they said, well, you can't always rely on numbers. And I said, well, you really can. I said to the point that I even know that if I see a specific number, I'll know what the check was for. <laughs> and they go, you can't do that. So they gave me the number of the check they had written. and. Not the amount, but just the check number. And I sat there for a few seconds, and I said, well, it was for an investment, something to do with a family member. Oh, absolutely not. I said, really? And I said, and what was the check for? Well, I bought some land. When my son goes to college. It'll pay for it. And I said, <laughs> excuse me, point made. Right. And everything we do, whether it's positive or negative, it has, an, has a, a number involved. So when we talk about our personal year issues, mm -hmm. if we have that covered in our name, because if we're missing a specific letter, we'll say uh, if, for instance, we're missing B, T, or K, that revolves around the number two. And if that be the case, then it would be a karmic issue for that individual. So when they're in a two-day, two-month, or two-year, they would have more things to work off of or work on. With the numbers that way, that way we can tell what time that we'll have more of a problem or when we're going to have more of a positive side. Say if a, a person is in the design business and their threes and the number three represents creativity, communications, and things of that nature. And we'll say that in their particular case, they have four threes in their name. Mm -hmm. That tells me that that person is extremely creative and their work should always have something to do with either communication and or design of some fashion. And I'll have people that will have four or five and I'll tell them right off the bat before looking at anything else, are you in sales? And the first thing is, well, yeah, how did you know that? 
because they're very gifted in that and we are creatures that go towards the things we're gifted in even though we don't realize we're doing it. Mm -hmm. So with taking a look at things, well we could just take a look at your chart if we'd like.